What is going on everybody? It is a beautiful hot summer morning and I got a phone call from my taxidermist that my buck I killed this year on December 27th is finished. So we're gonna head out to pick up that buck right now. I'm actually halfway there. I'm gonna go see how this thing looks. Talk to Andrew and uh, see how all the rest of the mounts that he got dropped off this year, how they're all looking. Then we're gonna go home and finish our uh, master closet. Well, try to finish it. Got to pick my tractor up today because it was at the repair shop. And I have no idea what else I'm going to get into. So, uh, let's get after it. You're watching Team Tate Outdoors. All right, guys. Well, just arrived at the taxidermy shop. Let's see what we got. Hey, we're going to have one of these here soon. We got one in the freezer. I just got to get it sent to him. Do I just pick whichever one I want? Well, I don't think, Is that how this works? I don't think it'll work that well. <laughs> Somebody's going to be mad if I give you the wrong one. <laughs> that one looks like mine. That's it. Sucker looks nice. Yeah, it turned out good. Like the detail on the nose and there's like water droplets on his beard like he's from dew in the morning. Been walking through the grass. Sweet. So guys, if you are in the Oklahoma area looking for a really good taxidermist, you guys got to give my buddy Andrew Loker with a Loker Elite Taxidermy a call. Andrew, tell them about you, your business, how they get a hold of you. Um, look me up online. I have uh, obviously Facebook, Instagram, um, my website, Loker Elite Taxidermy. Uh, you find me, uh, really, if you Google taxidermist in Tulsa, Oklahoma, you'll see me. So he did all this work. I mean, he does everything. Look at this ugly sucker. Yeah. Even African animals. That ain't no, that ain't no Oklahoma wild hog. That's a war. That's a war hog from uh, from Africa. Looks like. Yep. He does elk. That's a new. That's a New Zealand uh, stag. Stag right there. That is sweet. Is that a um, is that from Maryland or is no, that? That's, uh, I believe it's Texas. It's a stag as well. It is a stag. Yeah. Okay, it almost looks like um, Sika. It's kind of oh, got yeah, that like, yeah, but like yeah, a yeah. giant. I'd be yeah, like a giant. giant. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, he's a really, he's just a small stag. I mean, look at this one. Yeah, Gim's buck. And Gim's buck. This was probably from Texas as well, was it? Was it from Africa? Yeah. Was it the same guy that yeah. did this one? Yeah. Yeah, he came with his whole African safari. So yeah, guys, if you guys got your your animals from Africa that you went on a safari with, come on, even cows. Yeah, cows. <laughs> do everything. Other than birds, I don't do birds. Mark does birds, so all those are not mine. I don't know how to do birds. <laughs> but, but you can get them done. If you contact him, he will put you in contact with someone that can do the birds, if you've got some ducks and something you shot on the wing. He could do that for you too. Well, let's get this sucker home. Let's get him hung on the wall. Hey, before we finish with the taxidermy, I want to tell you about a gift we got from iWeeWee. It's the baseball trainer, Pure Delight. It's the throw and catch game set. This has got four, comes with four gloves. There's nice and soft and flexible. It's got four soft balls. This will not hurt your kids if you're throwing it with them if they miss it. It's the perfect trainer. It's recommended for ages three plus. Get your kid out there and practice baseball with them. Even if they're already on a team, this helps to, to learn 
hand-eye coordination and slowly teaches them how to get that glove up in position to catch the ball. But it helps them to get out there and be able to do it and give them the confidence that they can catch a ball because of the Velcro on the grip. It sticks almost every single time, guys, and it's great. My mom and my nephew, Colton, had a blast. Even my daughters came out and got in on the action. The game was perfect for a summer day outside. And if you want your kids to get out there and play, get them the I Wee Wee baseball trainer. They're gonna love it. If you wanna get your own I Wee Wee baseball trainer as a gift or for yourself, you can purchase it down in the description. There'll be a link. You can click on that link to get it. All right, let's get back to the taxidermy. Well guys, there he is. I put him up on the wall. It was a little bit too much to handle getting him slung up there, but um, I realized that I forgot to film it and did not do it. And so this is like a couple of days later, I forgot to get them all on film, hanging that thing up. I got super busy. But yeah, he looks really good on the wall. And um, he's right next to, this is the nine pointer I killed in Virginia uh, quite a while back. We actually did a, like a semi sneak and he's dropping his head and lower, he pulled his ears back, kind of going into a fighting stance because we're hoping that this year we shoot a really nice buck and we're gonna put him on the corner where they're gonna kind of be facing off. That's the plan anyways, guys. So hey, thanks for watching today's video and um, we will catch you guys up on our next one. Remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. It's just in boat pieces that we painted both sides with an oil-based paint, two coats. <laughs> she got running good now. Well guys, we did a little bow fishing off the boat tonight. Here's what we got. About knee deep. We'll see you on the next video, guys. Hope you like the boat build. Bye.